gardening journey here in the countryside of Australia. So, for today's video, I'm gonna share my experience, my tips and tricks on how to prune geraniums. Since uh, spring is just around the corner, I always prune my geraniums. Although they have some flowers, but they, they're branches are getting too old and they don't produce that much healthy leaves and flowers so to prepare for the flowering season here in the countryside i prune my geraniums by the way this is your happy gardener merlinda kasapaw so what i gonna do first is i will prune this geranium up to the i think hmm, you just gonna leave like few inches few inches away from the from the roots that will give the the plants too much energy they will have energy to boost healthy leaves and flowers look at those sounds those are the sounds of the birds flying around in our garden so let's start pruning the geraniums let's do it you have to have a look in here just cut it where they can have new leaves and new sprouts like this so by the way this is stem you can Put it on the ground or to another pot and then you're gonna have another geranium coming out. So let's try cutting this. And you also remove those leaves, that excess leaves. So I have here this one. This is a new sprout. I just leave it. So I'm just gonna remove one this gonna put that one just a good cut sometimes I feel bad when I cut my geraniums, especially if they are flowering, but thinking that it will produce more flowers and it will have more energy to, to grow healthy leaves. So that's how it is. Sometimes it's just like you have to sacrifice something to gain more. That's how gardening is. You have to prod. By the way, so what I'm doing is, I always want my plant to have more, more leaves and more flowers. So what I'm doing is, I'll cut. I'll have a good cut like this one, and remove the leaves. If they have flowers, I'm gonna remove the flowers and just stick it on the same pot so the these pots will produce up oh, will produce more geraniums and more blooms this one i'm just gonna remove it and stick it just on the same spot pots so geraniums is very different from the other plants. Normally, what we use for propagating the other plants are the matured stem. But in geraniums, it's different. 
you get the press ones, the press systems. It's different, right? <laughs> so, just remove excess leaves and flowers. Stick it on the same pot. So, I got more geraniums coming. Two birds in one shot, propagating at the same time, pruning. Uh, how I, I get excited on how I will share what will happen to these geraniums when spring comes. Just keep on checking my YouTube channel so you get updated of what happens with, my, with the ger geraniums that I prune. Deep in the shadows, I know it's hard To put one foot in front of the other ah, So far is the ego, where do we start? You can learn to discover a million stars Here in the shadows, I know you're scared Take my hand together We'll make a stand We've got to fight to find a way Dare to fall to find our words to say No more hate Just admit that you're just afraid Time to let go of all your fears and pride Stand up beside me, don't you hide We can build a better place If we can just find a way Then we can live a better day Rise from the ashes, from the anger, from the war Let's come together, lift your spirit for the cause We should be equal, should be living free all together, one and all, let's build a dream. geraniums i leave some leaves healthy leaves so as thinking the flowers or the plants will not have a culture shock like removing all the leaves and this works better in my geraniums so i prune everything and hope next spring which is coming soon i will have a healthy flowering geraniums. I can't wait to see those colors again in my garden. Another another reason why I didn't cut all the leaves is I still want to have a good potted plant in my garden. I love to see those green leaves and it really works so every time they have leggy stems i cut it just to maintain the the looks and the flowers and a healthy geraniums by the way this is merinda kasapal your happy gardener living in the countryside of australia please don't forget to like leave a comment subscribe if you're new to my channel and ring the notification bell so you get updated of what's happening here in my garden thank you very much bye, -bye. see ya